Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how to do the wiggler effect in Adobe After Effects CS4. And the wiggler effect is basically just where it shakes the camera and makes it look kind of like an earthquake. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need your a clip to do the wiggler effect on. Crap. So you're going to want to import that. Then you're obviously going to need to make your composition. You can name that whatever you want. then you need to drag your clip into your workspace and let it render alright so my clip has finished rendering let's play it really quick alright there's my clip so you're gonna wanna drag your playhead where you want to start the effect. So I'm going to start it right before my whole body hits the ground. So like right there. Then over and towards the left hand corner, towards uh, the left right here, there's a little arrow and you're going to click it and click transform. Then all of these will come up and you're going to want to hit the stopwatch to add a keyframe. And then move it to where you want to end it so I'm going to end mine right uh, right there and then you're going to click the diamond not the stopwatch the diamond this time it's also towards the left then you're going to need to select both of them and only, make sure you only have position selected that's definitely a main thing you can't have anything else selected Okay, then at the top you're going to go to Window and go down to Wiggler. And you click on that, and then it should bring this window up. And un if, if anything else is selected besides position, you won't get this. So, um, noise type, you want jagged. And you want, it'll probably most likely already be on all independently. So the dimensions you want all independently. Then I usually set the frequency to 25 and the magnitude to 15. And then I apply it. And it should give you this like look where it has a ton of keyframes. And if you zoom it in, it's like a whole huge load of keyframes. Then it should look, and then we're going to want to let it render. And it's normal if you get this right here. And when you export it, that'll go away. So yeah, there you have your wiggler effect, and we're not quite finished yet. Alright, what makes the wiggler effect look a lot better is these three circles down here. Uh, it's called the motion blur. It blurs the motion, so you're going to want to click the up below it where the box is and then up right here there's uh, another one and you're going to want to click that then it blurs the motion so it'll look like this but we just have to let it render but even when it's rendering you can see there's a huge difference see it like blurs the motion Alright, now we can watch it regularly. Alright, so right there, you basically have... Yeah, you have your basic wiggler effect. Alright, so... when you're The first time you do the wiggler effect, it's going to shake and you're going to see some black around here. But it didn't happen to me because I've set these and the motion tile to a point where you can't see the black at all so I'll show you how to get rid of that black Let me see. so you're going to want to go to effect over to stylize and then down to motion tile once you click on that it'll give you this and over here we put our frequency as 25 so we're going to want to put our output width as 125 
this is just I'm not gonna do this because I've already preset it but when you're doing it you the output width you're gonna add a hundred to your frequency and that's gonna be your output width and then for the output height you're gonna wanna add a uh, hundred to your magnitude and that's your output height and then you're also going to want to click mirror edges and yeah that's how you get rid of that black right there okay so now you have your wiggle effect and let's just let it render alright so you can see that it was pretty pretty good not the best one I've done though Alright, let's watch it regularly. Alright, so there's our wiggler effect. And you're almost ready to export. And I know when I know a lot of people that say whenever I export something with After Effects, whenever the clip ends, there's it just goes black for a really long time. You can but you can fix that. So over right here, there's like uh it's towards the right it's like a little yellow bar and it's when you go over it it should say work area end then you just grab that and drag it over to when your clip ends and that should get rid of it just go right here right there then you can play your clip and see it just keeps repeating instead of going black and now you're ready for export so it's basically just the same thing go to composition add to render queue and render it and I'll be back when it is done rendering alright so now I've rendered my clip and I've exported it from After Effects and I'm ready to view the final product I'm gonna go to my finder Go to where I exported it to, and here is the final product. And then I'll, I'll play the clip at the end so you can actually see it. So, yeah, there it is. And I'll play the actual clip right now.